All right, people. If you have a Contour, Escort, or Cougar from the year, well, from any year, really, um, and you have a SeaTech engine, the 2.0, right now this costs a heck, uh, blown head gasket. And to obviously take the head off, I gotta get through all the bolts, and the camshafts are in the way. That one's pretty easy to take off, but this one, it kinda signs me I have to do it because then I gotta reset the BCT later. You gotta take off this, you know, retaining bolt right here, which pretty much holds oil pressure in the BCT, which is a 50, T55, all right? To take it off, you gotta hold the camshaft in place, don't lock it back there, if you do that, you might break the camshaft in two. But you hold it in place, and then you unscrew. Then, once you do that, there's another screw in there, which I already loosened up as well. It's a 16 millimeter, or a, what is that? E18, E20, star bit. I think it's more like an E8, yeah, 18 or 20 cents, right? And then that comes off. You gotta just unscrew it. And then that big screw right there holds your BCT to the camshaft. This is all being done so I can take off that camshaft to, you know, get to the screws underneath. And let's see, let's just slide out. There we go. Just held in the right pressure. Look at that. That's all oily, well, watery oil. As you can see, you know, it's all creamy looking. That's what happens when oil mixes with water. Let me put that down. So we get on to that next topic here. Okay, now take the BCT off. It's not like the Focus SVT. The, I mean, let me explain. The SVT Focus also has BCT, but it is not the same, same part, same mechanism at all. To get this one off, you take two 8 millimeter bolts because they go onto the camshaft, or else I wouldn't be doing this. But now I, I took one off already, I need to get the other one off. Now if I go, let me see my tools. And I need an eight millimeter tube to get that off. Okay, so eight millimeter, as I said. This is a very rusty tool, but it does the eight millimeter right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, so now let me get my tool set up. Let's put this camera down for a second. Bear with me. Okay, so now that I got that done, I just gotta unscrew this. And that shouldn't be too hard. Okay, and that just you heard you heard it just loosen up. And now I should just unscrew by hand. So that's how you do it. I mean, if you have a, a bad BCT or you need to remove the head, or just need to remove that camshaft. Maybe you're doing an upgrade. That's how you remove the BCT. So now this should, I should just, like that. Just hold onto the cam like that. And. I already loosened up the cam. I mean, all the reten retainers are off. So this should just come off. Let's see. I don't wanna damage anything, but that is hard in there. Maybe if I just spin it a few times. I can't even do that. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend this, but I am gonna like put some leverage on it. So just. Just come up, just play around a little bit. Make sure it just there, there you go, that loosened up right there. I wouldn't do that to see it wounds the aluminum. Right now I'm just so sick and tired of having to go through all this with this engine. Let's see. I wouldn't do that there. That's the only place I can do it at. Jeez, that is hard on.
I got an idea. Screw that screw back on there. And just pull. Damn, that is hard on. Why is this not coming out? Am I missing something else here? This is loose. All the retainers are off. It's just come out. Why isn't it? Try two. Let's see. Well, try one thousand. Oh, I see what's going on here. The BCT is like a bearing for it. And that's stuck on. Which it shouldn't be. This is a bearing. Hmm. I don't recommend doing what I'm doing. There you go. That just came out right there. I'll slide that up. Gotta get that out of the way. There we go. Boom. There we go. That just came right off. That's how you remove the exhaust manifold camshaft to get to the screws down there to remove the head. I'll make a video in a second to show you how to remove the head. We're just, just pretty much taking those 10 bolts off. But thanks for watching, guys.